It's the unsolved murder of a little girl from Detroit. Her body found burned in Romulus a few days later. A lot of you will remember the name Raven Jeffries, her family and police pleading for help in the case that could save another child's life. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has their story and hope of catching a killer. This is where Raven Jeffries' killer dumped her body and set it on fire, perhaps hoping to hide the secret of what they had done to her, a case that may now be solved by Raven's childhood friends, now grown up. I wonder what type of person she would be like today. Raven was just seven years old, a happy little girl who loved her big brothers and sisters, Sherry and Ashley, who haven't stopped missing her, sometimes talking as if Raven is still alive. She's 19 now. now. Mm -hmm. She'll be 20 on January 8th. Like so many people, I remember the day Raven was reported missing from her home on McDonald Street in southwest Detroit. It was August 4, 2006, and countless people joined Detroit police in the search for Raven. Please, if anybody sees my little girl, please call, because I can't tell you which one. But three days later, Raven's body was found. Taken from her home, brutally killed. The killer dumped Raven in a remote area near Ecorse Road and Henry Ruff in Romulus. So in our opinion that this person was very familiar, intimately familiar with this location. At the Romulus Police Department, there isn't just a file for the murder of this seven-year-old. There is a whole area dedicated to preserving vital information in the case and police now re-examining key physical evidence with newer technology. Significant burning and charring uh, occurred around her pelvic area. A person could have been trying to destroy any kind of evidence that he or she may have left behind. We should have to go through this for some evil monster to come and take her and then to do what they did to her. That hot August day, there were a lot of children outside playing when Raven was driven off in a pickup truck. 12 years later, police hoping that now young adults will remember something to finally help catch a killer. Think back, you know, something may may just pop up in their in their mind that, that they think about uh, that they didn't reveal at the time. I don't want my mom to die and not know what happened to her. Raven's mom, Brenda, still lives on McDonald near Radcliffe Street in southwest Detroit, and every day she tends to a memorial garden for Raven and her two older sons who died in tragic accidents years after Raven's murder. Their sister is now holding on to hope that anyone who has the key to finding Raven's killer will finally have the courage to say what they know. It's been almost 13 years. I forget how she sounds. I forget how she looks sometimes. Like we sh we should have to go through this for some evil monster. So if you have any information on who killed Raven Jeffries or any information in the case, you're urged to call Romulus Police or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. In Romulus, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. You gotta hope they'll get a tip or something. The to pain's still so raw after oh, yeah. so many years. 13 years yeah, for sure. Boy.